Oh, hi, this is Sir Stillwater. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Terracotta Army. This is a virtual futures great building in Forge of Empires. Uh, this is part of my great building series. Uh, I've got a playlist with all the great buildings. I also have individual videos for every single one of them. And they are over on my, uh, you go to my YouTube page and you can do a search there uh, for anything particular or just check out the playlist and see, um, you know, learn about other ones too. So... Okay, let's talk about the Terracotta Army. Here it is in the little tile card thing. You see you got three big rows of look like soldiers, and these were Terracotta soldiers. These were, if I recall correctly, that these were a uh, kind of like a, a funeral burial statues that were built for the first emperor, emperor of China back like 200, 200 BC, BC, somewhere back then. And um, there's like 8,000 soldiers or something. A farmer discovered them. In some field or something back in the 70s. I don't know. I don't remember all the details on it. I should have looked it up ahead of this, but either way, it's pretty cool. Um, pretty pretty massive. To just think about the scale of that. But that's kind of what this is depicting. You see that you got some chariots and horses and um, just different rows of things. And the, they call this the virtual future because then they got like a virtual overlay um, as part of the theming here within the game. But it's kind of got some hooks into hooks into uh, the real world. So, okay, that's enough about that. Uh, kind of cool looking, too. And it's got a little bit of splash of color with the blue and stuff like that, blue and red, and, uh, which is kind of ties into what it actually offers, which you notice here we've got, looks we've got some attack and we've got some defense combined. And we'll talk about that in just a second. So there we go. That's on um, that little tile card thing for the building. Here it is in the wild. And you just kind of see uh, it's a four by six. So it's six long by four wide or whatever. Uh, let's see. And then we will jump over here to uh, forgevampires.phantom.com slash wiki. Let's see what the wiki has to say about it. So this is a great resource, no affiliation. Um, check it out. Um, I'll have a link down in, the, down in the notes for this as well, which will take you right to this page so you can read more about the details if you'd like. Okay, so it's a virtual future building, which I mentioned. Construction cost is 500, 500, 500, 450, 450, getting a little more expensive. So we're, we're about, what, 460 average goods to build this building. Uh, size is a 4x6, like we mentioned. Uh, road is required, and of course it is, because it's a great building, right? Uh, properties, there's no production bonuses, so it's just kind of like one of those buildings that's kind of always there doing what it does. And what it does is it gives you a passive bonus of advanced tactics. And what is advanced tactics? This is a, it basically, it is a attack and defense boost for attacking and defending armies. So it's kind of like a, a coverall type uh, attack boost. So let's look at what you get. Uh, let's see, the requirements to build it now is uh, cost you 90 FPs. We went up an era, so now we went from 80, which is what the uh, oceanic buildings were costing you. Now it's costing you 90, being a future, uh, future building. Uh, let's see, the boost is 2% at level 1, so it's not, not crazy good. It's like, geez, it's not even what a level 1 Zeus is from an attack perspective. But it's also giving you defense, and it's giving you attack and defense on both sides of the defending armies and attacking armies. So you get to level 10, and we're talking about a 20% boost, and then uh, you look at every other level, it goes up one more point. It kind of looks like for perpetuity. So so if you get up there to a level 100, where you at 66%, getting a 66% boost on both sides of the coin for a four by six, which is what, 24 squares. Not too bad. So you know, it's, it's costing you 11,000 FPs to do that level. But, so that's that's what I've got on the Terracotta Army. Uh, I'm going to continue my great building series. I also have a number number of other videos that are coming. Um, and I'll speak to some of those. And I, you know, I'm going to point this out too, I think, in those videos, when I start talking about some of these event buildings, that you can get some pretty crazy um, boosts on things in those um, and how they compare to what it would cost you in a comparable great building. So... Uh, they've done they've done a lot, so some of these great buildings don't have the appeal that they used to. But that's going to be a whole separate series of videos uh, once I get past the great buildings. I've only got about a ten or so left to publish, and then I will move in the, into those. And I'll probably be doing some of those intermixed uh, while these are on their release schedule. Great buildings release every Monday and Friday, so I'll probably throw in kind of random videos in between after that. Um, I mean, for the rest of this time. 
So stay tuned. Um, that said, it's my my shameless plug for if you're interested in seeing those, please subscribe. Blah blah blah, all that good stuff. But I thank you for watching. I really, I really, really do. Um, thank you. I really appreciate you spending your time watching my little videos here. So. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, all that jazz, please leave it below. If you like it, uh, please throw a thumbs up. If you don't like it, please throw a thumbs down. Um, that'd be kind of in insightful so I know if I'm doing a crappy job or if I'm doing an okay job or whatever. It helps me um, understand better. Comments too. So thanks. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.